Oh, I think we, we have some great additions to the team this year with uh, Philip Schweitzer and Austin Oaf have really, really played great this year. And I, I feel like that's, you know, definitely made a, a huge difference to our program. Do you get a sense of just how the, what this means for Adam to get to the championships? He's, you know, your only senior and hasn't been there yet. But. Yeah, this is awesome for Adam. I mean, he's played great, so great for Purdue. You know, over the last four years, for him to be able to get to experience the NCAA championship is is awesome. It was a kind of a comeback there at Sugar Grove. Uh, did you? Does your team feel like a, a renewed sense of energy going into the next tournament? Yeah, I think so. We played really solid towards the end of the tournament, and you know, all five guys on our team are playing well. So to be able to have a fresh start at NCAA's and and go compete for the national championship is going to be great. Was there a sense of redemption after you, the way you played in the Big Tens in the final round to come through in the, in the final round uh, last week? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it was a, definitely a goal of ours to win the Big Ten and, and to, you know, not do that and then go up and play great at regionals. It was definitely, you know, a redemption. Austin mentioned that you've played the course and maybe some of the guys haven't. Just knowing the course and knowing your team, what do you think the, the strength of the course is going to be? Yeah, the strength of the course is keeping it in play and having good distance control with your irons. Um, you know, I think that's it has a lot of similarities to the camping course. It's not as long, but a lot of the tall grass and stuff like that. So it's a look that our players are familiar with and, and windy conditions too, which, which we've been familiar with this spring. So, so you know, I think it's a great golf course for us. The guys say you're all pretty laid back, but, you know, you've been – uh, to the NCAA championships for both as a player and, and then last year, obviously. What kind of advice do you have for your guys uh, heading into this weekend? You know, we just need to go, and everybody's playing well right now, and, and you know, we're, we're a solid team from top to bottom, so we just kind of need to go and do the things that we do well, you know, keeping the ball in play, not making big numbers, and, and really treating it like it's just any other event. I know you're focused on this year, but what kind of starting point can this be for for you and, and your program in your first year to, to build off this? Yeah, I think it's great for the program to be able to qualify and give, you know, these the freshman experience of playing in the NCAA championship and and also to set expectations for them. I mean, once you go and, and play in a tournament like this, it'll make you work harder to be able to get back to it when they realize, you know, how much fun it is to be able to compete for the national championship. So I think it's it's great for the program.